know when I face that way sometimes I get reflections on my glasses. I don't know. Uh, hi, I'm Karen Lebo and uh, this is my weekly vlog. I am a vintage reseller mostly on Etsy at vintagedazzle.etsy.com and uh, I'm going to show you what I listed the last couple days and what I'm getting ready to ship off this morning. Monday mornings are always a little crazy. I always have this list of phone calls to make a mile long. I have to call my doctor and see why my prescription isn't being refilled. I have to call and make an appointment for an oil change. I have to call the main Antiques Digest and see why I haven't received my magazine. Um, it seems like there's a couple more in there, but anyway. And then I ha also, Mondays are always my biggest day for processing orders. So, yeah, a little bit crazy. So, but let me just get started. Okay, I listed eight items over the weekend. Uh, I listed this print. This is actually, this is not an antique print. It is a lithograph of an antique print. The print itself is of an antique painting. And it has a title, the, a mile long, but it has to do with the miraculous hall of the fishes. You can see that's, um, there's Jesus, and there's the fishermen that I guess become his apostles, and this that's the story, you know, from Matthew in the New Testament where he tells them to put their nets on the other side of the boat and they haul up all these fish. Anyway, it's a very pretty print. It's, it's you know, if you like that kind of thing. And I put it in this, it is a plastic frame, but unless you look really close, it looks like a, one of those gold plaster flame, frames. <laughs> And the price on that is, I believe it's 19 or 22 sorry. Yeah, 22 $22. And all of my listings, most of them anyway, are free shipping unless otherwise stated. Um, I listed this lovely uh, Chinese tea caddy. It's pewter. And the little works of art, they're either... I've heard two explanations for what they are. They're either reverse painted on glass or they are painted on rice paper and mounted behind the glass. That's what I was told when I bought this many years ago. It was also sold to me as an antique and I paid a whole lot for it, but now that I'm looking online, I see there's just a ton of these out there. I can't, everybody's saying, oh, they're like 19th century antiques. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Um, so I, I do think this is a, maybe not even reproduction, maybe sort of a fantasy piece. And, you know, it's not new. It's definitely older, but anyway, um, I probably paid something like $80 for it a million years ago when I didn't know better. And, uh, let's see, I have listed that for $68. And then we have a hand-painted lacquer box from Kashmir, India, or probably, it's not marked, but I'm sure that's where it's from. It's got all these little birds on them. There's red ones, white ones with blue and black heads, there's green ones, there's birds on the side, yellow ones, gray ones, and this beautiful pink flower tree. I just thought this was so cute. And, let's see, I listed the Kashmir box for $26. And uh, this is a signed art glass paperweight by John Barber. He is a Laguna Beach artist who I believe is still in business. And his newer works sell for a lot. But I have this listed for $53. Moving on to the jewelry. This is a, probably an antique canateel silver, sterling silver canateel brooch with three little uh, coral beads. It's not marked, but I tested it, and it is sterling. And we listed that for 48. Is that right? 48? Yeah. Um, this is a camphor glass. Um, I got this. Yes, I've got it backwards. There it is. Uh, camphor glass bracelet. Now. I saw these listed as genuine 1920s, but I also don't believe it because that clasp is more modern. Um, I think this is a 1970s or 1980s retro piece. However, that said, it is absolutely beautifully done. And these stones, the blue ones, are genuine sapphires. Tested them. 
The clear ones are not diamonds, though. The clear ones are glass. And the blue ones are sapphires. Isn't that funny? Uh, anyway, I just, just on the sheer beauty of this piece, it does look very much like a 1920s Art Deco piece. And uh, that I listed for $125. This is a Mexican silver, and this greenstone, I believe, is green agate. Greenstones are the most confusing to me, but that's what I think. It's a very a retro looking ring, but I don't think it's super old because I think this marking is rather modern. It says, uh, it says Mexico 925 and then CI. Sorry, I had to change the batteries again. Been having that happen a lot lately. Uh, anyway, this ring, uh, ring listed for 52. It's quite heavy. It's, and it's also a really big ring. It's like a size 10. So, um, those are hard to find. And then lastly, we have this mesh choker with a guilloche enamel rose and a little tassel. And this, um, pretty sure it's a mid-century retro piece. It's kind of a Victorian style, but it's, I don't think it's Victorian. I think it's mid-century. It's not marked. And that listed for 26. So I think that I have shown you everything. Now I'm going to show you what I'm shipping off today. Okay, so here is what I am shipping off today. I have these lovely amethyst earrings that are going off to one of my best customers in New Zealand. And uh, those sold for 35 um, plus some discounted shipping. And uh, this is a Tortellani silver tone brooch, kind of a seaweed. And that sold for 32 And then this handkerchief. Um, this is a really incredibly beautiful handkerchief. It was in a frame. Uh, someone from overseas was buying it and asked if I would take it out of the frame to save them some shipping because it was so heavy it was a calculated shipping situation so oh my gosh this thing was very thoroughly framed it took me like 15 minutes to get it out of the frame without damaging it um, but it's so beautiful and that sold for $227 and I got that, I think I got that at the my mother-in-law's rummage sale for like $8. That is the one thing you can really find bargains with at that rummage sale is framed art. I've found some absolutely fantastic things. Um, then, okay, what else do we have? Oh, okay, we have some things down here. We have the second of my two enamel on steel French house numbers. And... Uh, it sold for 35 We still have a couple of little tea strainers, European tea strainers. I think one is from Italy and one Germany or something like that. And those sold for 22 for the pair. And then we have this carved stone head from Mexico, which I guessed that it was Chrysocolla and the buyer, who is one of the YouTube watchers. Hi there. Um, she said she thought that was right, and she called it Parrot Chrysocolla. And that's, I guess, a Chrysocolla that has some more variegated colors in it. And um, so the head sold for, well, she used a coupon code, which you can use too. YouTube Thanks will get you 10% off. Uh, I believe it's anything over $25. So she paid a total of $70.20 for the head. And then I sold this little nut chopper, this little uh, 1940s maybe. Um, I've had that forever, and that sold for $19. And I think that's it for now. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and um, I have nothing to report other than I'm just going to show you, as usual, what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off this morning. Okay, so this is uh, a piece from the eBay lot which needed a replacement stone. And I found a really good 
match. Goodness, what's wrong with my finger now? Um, it's that that one right there. That looks really good. And so now it's back to its beautiful former self. This is, I believe, a Juliana style brooch. Um, Juliana made. Juliana style. I'm never quite sure how to say that. But anyway, it is not marked with a maker mark, but it's a real beauty. Listed that for 48 And this uh, carved amethyst ring, which I believe is a, a newer ring, obviously. The style is more modern. But possibly using like a Victorian carved stone. I'm not sure about that, but that would be a good guess, I think. It's really pretty. That I listed for 48 also. And uh, then I listed this lot of Arthur Singer bird prints. There are eight here. I'm not going to take them all out, but they're different ones. They're really nice. Uh, they were made in the 1950s for American Home Magazine, is who commissioned them. And so they are actually like torn out of the magazine. They have some rough edges, but other than that, they're in pretty good shape. I honestly, I think I found these in the garage, and I don't know where I originally got them. But uh, they're very nice, and normally they list for, I don't know, I've seen them like $12, $15 a piece, unframed. But I am selling this lot for, what did I say, $74, I think, something like that. Uh, so, that's, um, you know, a pretty good deal per print. And then lastly, I listed, I love this print, stork, an iguana, some seashells, and a feather. Um, I believe this is French. Uh, it's dated 1836. It is hand-tinted in taglio print, steel engraving probably. Uh, it's in a cheaper frame, but it's nicely done. At least it's neatly and frame and uh, just definitely displayable. And I listed that for 110. Okay, so here's what I'm shipping off today. Um, we have this lovely hand-thrown pink pot. It's probably California pottery. Um, I did sell this for a discounted price of $24 free shipping, so there's not going to be much profit there at all. I, I didn't pay anything for it. It came from my mother-in-law, but I have had it for quite a while, so it's time to send it to a new home. The shipping's going to be about $10 on that, probably. Uh, then, let's see, I sold um, these two sterling silver pins slash brooches silver enamel. They have kind of a um, Inca theme to them. And those were $36 a piece. Those went to the same person along with this lot of shell necklaces which sold for $15. Which is really, I think, a pretty good deal because they're pretty cute ones. Um, then I sold this um, red glass multi-beaded necklace. It's probably made in Africa. And that sold for 28 And then this, oops, this uh, sterling silver, uh, it's bow sterling um, bypass ring. Kind of a modernist look to it. And uh, that sold for 26 plus some discounted shipping international. Oh, and that, that sold to one of my tubers. Hi, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, and then lastly, I sold this lacquer box with a dragon on it. It's quite distressed, but it's really cute. In the right environment, it's going to be really cute. And this, uh, surprisingly, sold internationally. The box itself is $37 and it's in excess of $30 to ship it. It's probably going to cost me more than that, but um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. I, I've just really been struggling to find boxes, big boxes lately. I have huge boxes, but I don't seem to have any that are 
right for items of this size, so I may have to build a Franken box. I don't know. So this is my latest project. Uh, found this in the garage. This is something I used to have in my old house, um, and I didn't know, but it was getting flooded, and it really got pretty well ruined. As you can see there's some really bad damage, but that's okay. It's going to go in my office. I just uh, sanded it down, did a little patching, did some staining. Uh, there's drawers that go in these two spots right here. It's meant to be kind of primitive anyway, so <sighs> that's it. It is Wednesday morning, and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. Okay, first of all, I have these two little botanical prints that I got at the my mother-in-law's uh, rummage sale. And uh, these were made in the 1990s, but they are like kind of antique reproductions. They're very cute, and I listed the pair. They're, they're brand new, still in the cardboard and plastic. I listed those for uh, $19, oops, for the pair. And then this little... Um, it is Coalport Bone China. The pattern is Golden Melody. It's pr I'm guessing that's a mid-century piece. I saw this listed both as a demitasse cup and then a toothpick holder. So I don't know what it is, but it is in just perfect condition. It's really sweet. And I listed that for $19 also. And then these rings... Uh, it's possible that I've never shown these before because I was kind of futzing around yesterday and I was going through a drawer that, and I found a bag of, I thought it was just junk jewelry, and I was actually looking for a clasp. I'm trying to find a clasp to repair a bracelet, and I need a specific kind, and I don't seem to have one. But anyway, I was looking through this old bag of jewelry, and I found these rings, and there's more. I, it's like, I don't know where this bag came from. I'm sure it, well, I'm sure it came from one of my family members, or, but I have no memory of having these rings. So we have um, a turquoise ring, Navajo. It is unmarked, but I think it's old, and I think it's even old pawn. I think it's got some very faint pawn scratch marks on it. And that I listed for 52. And then this one, it is signed with an A, and the mark belongs to Annie Chapeau was a Navajo artist. I couldn't find out very much about her, so I don't know really what age this is, but it's a black onyx, kind of a standard Navajo design, and it's also a very tiny ring, the little pinky ring, and I listed that for 42. Okay, so here's what I'm shipping out today. I have this set of beautiful sterling silver Native American jewelry. It's a cuff bracelet and then these matching hoop earrings. They are signed very clearly FJM Idaho, but I was not able to find out a lot about the artist except that they do very nice work. Um, those sold for 65 I think. Yeah, 65 and then um, this is a world coin bracelet from the 1950s. These are always popular. I never hold on to these for long. They always sell very quickly. This sold to one of my regular customers for 27 And then this uh, primitive wooden box. Just a very plain but very nice lidded wooden box, like a glove box maybe. And uh, that sold for 38 and that is today's. Here I am at the Taco Bell Drawing Club. That's my bird that I did. It's not finished yet, but there's the picture that I copied. <laughs> and this is the third meeting. And um, I don't know, what can I tell you? It's just everybody gets here and they draw each other and you draw other stuff and you talk and you share information and it's a lot of fun. Actually, you know, it's funny, I actually was there today. 
Oh, really? Back today, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's up? artist. He does like these really complicated comics, which. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what sold yesterday, and I'm shipping off today. Okay, I uh, listed this sweet little cloisonne vase. I keep buying the cloisonne even though it doesn't always sell very well. I listed this for $29. And then uh, this little, um, what do you call it, cinnabar, carved cinnabar box. I think it's like cinnabar with a black lacquer layer on top and then it's carved down. It's very hard to see, but inside these creases, there's little stripes of red where it's incised and the cinnabar shows through. Very pretty. Um, that's, uh, I listed for 26 and it sold within minutes. So I may have priced it too low or it may just have just sold. Uh, now this, I bought some time ago, but it was missing some stones. I was missing two of the little coral stones and I ordered some stones off eBay and replaced them and they're not perfect matches but they're pretty good matches. That's one right there and the other one is on the end, on the pointy end here. The color is really good, the shape is a little bit different but I think it looks acceptable and that I listed for uh, 48. It's a, it is a Zuni sterling silver and coral needle point or petty point ring. And finally this modernist lapis lazuli and sterling silver ring. This was another one that I found in the mysterious jewelry bag that I found in a drawer that I have no idea where this jewelry came from. Well I do. Um, but anyway this is a beautiful ring. It's a really nice big stone and just nicely done. I listed that for 49 and then I had one other thing sell, which I will show you right now. Had this cute little shell fragment necklace. It's an old one too. <laughs> you can tell by looking at the, the string it's strung on and the old hook that this is an old necklace. And that sold for $16 plus shipping to Australia, like $16 of shipping. And that's it. Hi there, it is Friday morning and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. Okay, so here's what I listed yesterday. Um, these are the sterling silver earrings that I bought the rummage sale at my mother-in-law's retirement home and I just assumed these stones were going to be glass but I tested them and uh, they're actually citrines. Great big citrines. Those are just beautiful. I listed those for 32. They're made by STS which as I understand it is a company out of Austin, Texas. And then this um, has this little B got it upside down, a little B logo, and it was a little confusing. I did determine that this came from New Zealand, and this shell is not, in fact, abalone. It is Paua shell, P-A-U-A, -A, which, for all I know, is the same thing as abalone. I don't, it sure does look the same. Uh, but there were two companies that used this exact same little hallmark, and um, one was Beaton, and they made things in the early 1900s, and the other is, uh, I can't remember what it is, it's a, like a really weird um, New Zealand word, <laughs> and they were more like mid-century. The, the design of this one more closely matches the beaten jewelry, but it does have a rotating clasp, which is probably more mid-century, so I just couldn't come to any conclusions about it, but it's very pretty. And I listed that for 36. I listed this darning egg, which is so cute. Uh, that I listed for 21. And uh, this cross gold filled pen, 
in the original box. I listed that for 32. And these are the three items that I'm shipping off today. Uh, this is a Guatemalan hand-woven table runner, which I will slip in a picture of since it's already wrapped up. And that sold for 35, 34. Uh, <laughs> this little blue and white Japanese pin dish. It's hand painted. This sold for all of eight dollars. This is obviously something I've had around forever because I really don't list things for eight dollars anymore. But it's very pretty. And I believe that's plus. Yeah, the shipping is. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't know. Shipping's not that high, so. And uh, then the last thing is this uh, brass antique picture frame. And that sold for 49 With free shipping. Okay. <laughs> oh, I subtracted. This is my bicycling oh. group, except that I didn't bicycle today. I came in a car. Hey, hi, Greg. Hi. <laughs> Greg. You want to say our names out loud so you remember who we are? <laughs> Speaking of age, oh my gosh. It is a beautiful day today in Southern California. We are at Starbucks. In the Middle of winter in the yeah. neighborhood. It is Saturday morning and I'll show you the pitiful display of what I listed yesterday and what I sold yesterday. Is there a connection? I think so. This is the single item that I listed yesterday. It is um, a string of African trade beads. They are glass, cane glass. They're pretty old, I think. If you look at the that clasp and the string and everything looks pretty old. Uh, I listed those for $48. I think 48 uh, and that is the only thing I got listed yesterday and then this is what I sold oh here it is <laughs> I sold this shell sculptural brooch for $12 <laughs> that was it for yesterday <laughs> this is another item that I've had for quite a long time I think it's really cute I like shell jewelry it doesn't sell for a lot but I like it anyway Okay, here I am at the flea market again. It, is a, it just turned sunny. It was really foggy this morning, but so here I am, and that looks like something fun to dig through. So I'll be back. God, this is the mother load of old lady cardigans. This. Lots of cardigans. Jackets. Hey guys, check this out. You think I should think I should get this for muffin? Well for me, for muffin. <laughs> I have a mandolin. 